opportunity to climb these granite walls has created a way of life for me. A simple way of life that is always connected to the natural laws. The gravity is always there, the sun, the air. After a while you recognize everything is connected. This is such a good feeling. Just to even touch these rocks sometimes is an amazing experience to recognize how many thousands, maybe millions of years it took to shape them. And as a climber, you see a puzzle of holes. To me, it's like an art, a way to express yourself through common sense and good judgment, harmonizing your abilities, mind and body. Recognizing how fragile we really are It's always good to remind yourself that it was never about getting to the top of any of these cliffs, but just learning how to be a part of them. That's what nature seems to always want to remind me, is just to be a part of everything. rocks have become my teacher. They're always telling you something about yourself. They can reflect just how you feel. So I try to make friends with them. It seems like such a privilege to be able to come to places like this and after a while they seem like a part of your home. In this area, sometimes there's a little frog that makes his sound. I've never seen him, but I always hear him. will always teach you to find that harmony and that balance. open myself up to this natural world it never ceases to amaze me how many things are actually going on. These trees are growing, birds are flying around, the ants are crawling around, that eagle flies by, the earth's turning. And I think here I am trying to find my place and, and balance with all these things. rocks are so big you could feel like a little ant yourself moving up them. It's nice to come back to these climbs over and over to learn about each little foothold and handhold. Finding somewhat of a routine up them that you can in your own way try to perfect through your breathing, your relaxing. what seems to be maybe comparable to something like yoga or maybe even a martial art. 
There's a discipline to it. At this point in my life. Sometimes before climbing up these rocks, I just stand back and admire them. They're like paintings or sculptures. Just like every day is different, all these climbs are a little different. They all got their own character, in a way their personality, and you get to know it. It's not about throwing yourself at something. It's definitely about making that connection. laws. As soon as you start to go up that vertical wall, that gravity is just pulling on you. And you definitely respect it. Learn that art of protecting yourself. Sometimes I feel just clumsy. I've been up there 100 feet and seen a lizard come by me. Do push-ups. And here you are, trying to act like you really know what you're doing. It's humbling to be human. Never ending lessons in the vertical world. I guess that's maybe one of the reasons I keep sticking with it so I can learn better. Better ways to adapt myself. The different environments we all live in. I know when I'm 100 feet up a rock, I'm not feeling too prejudiced about anybody or judging anybody. back and visit these same climbing areas for 20, 30 years and how the sounds of the river down below, the smell of the bay leaves and those trees all become a part of that experience. Or you can think back to your younger days when you just kind of ran by all those things and just so enthusiastic to climb up that, that rock wall.
later on as time keeps moving. If you stay open-minded, it really keeps opening up other things to you. Mainly that it's such a privilege to even be in this area. As a climber, when you can walk through this granite country, and you come across something, and you'll sit at the base and just look at it. Try to imagine yourself up there, where would you go? Does it look like there's enough holds to get you up? Some of these climbs might go back to many times, different days. And then you get into a whole rhythm of just what time of day to go when the sun hits the wall, which path you take to get there through the woods, what trees you start to recognize. these stories. Every day we need that water. Every day we need this air. Every day we expect the sun to come up. But what do we do to deserve all that? It's hard to believe how simple it really is if we take the time to listen, take the time to feel, take the time to think about the most important thing is what we leave behind. Nature has a lot to say. So it's not me really saying this, it's just what I've been told by the wind, and the water, and the sunsets that I've watched from these rocks.